Hi, how you guys doing? Today I'm working on a uh, um, an Outback MX60 uh, MPPT solar charge controller. And this is a really old one. As you guys can see the date there. I don't know if it's month number four or 2004 or 2006, either one of them, but it's really old. And as you guys can see, apparently they tried to repair the fan so they couldn't get to it because they had to take it all, they had to take all of it apart to get to the fan. But um, I will go ahead and try to put a new one on there and it's really dirty inside. So it's in better days. <clears throat> so it was brought up to me because it, it turns on, but it does not, uh, it does not charge anymore. So I believe it's the MOSFETs that are bad. So um, all these MOSFETs right here, which are, uh, these MOSFETs here are the ones that are bad, you know, I don't know if I can focus it right away, but like perfect or whatever, but uh, there you go. Um, so these MOSFETs are all bad. Uh, but uh, also the capacitors, um, they don't really feel like they're bad, but like this one's already open on the top. Even though they test good, it'd be a good idea to replace all four of them. There's actually four of them here. And it uh, looks like the transformers have gone through a lot of overheating, but they still test good. So once it's all done and fixed, uh, best thing to do here though, it's actually to replace this at, uh, this relay. Even if everything works and even if it still works, uh, as the years go by, the contacts get old. So even if it works, the voltage might not be good going through that, uh, going through the terminals when the relay connects. So it'd be a good idea to do that. I will have a follow-up video on this one, but yes, that, uh, sometimes it's not even worth repairing something like this. The board's like $400 brand new. The MOSFETs, they vary on prices. If you want the originals, they're like nine bucks a piece or you can get them for like maybe $2 a piece. There's 13 of them. But uh, I don't know, it might not even be worth the repair, but I'll definitely just fix it, uh, try to repair all the MOSFETs, replace all the MOSFETs and the capacitors and the relay, just to make sure that everything's there. And I have a follow-up video on this, but sometimes when you have a really old unit like this, it's just better to replace the whole thing. Just like get a new one, don't even buy the board. But uh, anyways, I will repair it just, just so, uh, it's for a friend of mine. I used to do electronics years ago, but I don't do this anymore. But I'll go ahead and try to keep you guys updated on the next video. But as you can see, this thing is, I don't know, it's in better days. But I will go ahead and try to repair that as soon as I can. Once I get the parts and stuff and have it up and running, I'll have a follow-up video on it. Anyways, you, have, you guys have a good one. I'll um, talk to you guys in the next one. And if you guys like the video, I'm just doing a repair on this. If you guys like the video, I'll give it a thumbs up. Thank you.